Hi, my name is Joan Renquet. I'm an animal communicator, author, and founder of Communication with All Life University. Today, I wanted to go ahead and share a couple of tips, three tips actually, that really help people to trust that they are communicating with animals. And these are things to do that are around animal communication. So the first one is meditation. And the other day I put out a video about meditation saying that meditation doesn't have to be what we think of as meditation, right? It doesn't have to be the sitting on a mountaintop oming. It could actually be something mindful. It could be out walking your dog. Horse people tend to clean stalls and pick poop and we just sort of go into a mindful state then. Washing dishes could be mindful. Brushing your cat could be mindful or sitting out in nature could be mindful. So it doesn't have to be this big mm, meditation. It could be just mindfulness. But the reason for mindfulness is you want to have kind of a landscape of your mind, right? Like if you know what your mind activity is, then you're going to be able to tell if somebody else is sending information like the dog or the cat you're trying to communicate with. So that's number one. Number two is keeping a journal. I have a lot of students who keep journals. Actually, it's a requirement in my program. And the reason is when you start to notice that you communicated with that dog and you got a bunch of accurate information and you communicated with that cat and that ferret and that horse and all of it was accurate and it was all written down and you even maybe, some people even add pictures of the animals into their um, journal and use it almost like a memory book too. All of a sudden that journal becomes evidence. It becomes proof it becomes a documentation of the fact that you have been accurate in the past. So it's a great tool for trusting yourself. And especially if you're a little bit down and you don't trust yourself, you can look over at that journal and say, you know what, I talked to that many animals and it was accurate. So that's another great tool. And then the third is verification. Always put yourself into a situation where you can get the information verified. So that means your friends, your friends' friends, your friends' friends' friends, and of course the best way is in a class where people are able to validate the information for you so that you know you're getting uh, the accurate information and that you're able to stay on track building your trust. Because I always say in my classes, telepathy is a muscle. Being able to do telepathic communication is a muscle. You get better and better and better at it. But you know what? So is trust. Trust is absolutely a muscle as well. And there's a certain point where you all of a sudden realize, wow, I'm talking to animals. Thank you.